Hello and welcome to Tapping Tuesday. This is Dawn and I'm coming to you live, at least on Facebook, <laughs> every Tuesday uh, throughout the year of 2022 for these Facebook Lives and I'm also posting them to, to uh, YouTube and Instagram. So whether you're watching live or on the replay, just wanted to thank you for watching. And um, if you're new to EFT Tapping, make sure you check out the Where Are the Tapping Points to um, be able to follow along. And so I just come on every Tuesday to do these demonstrations to kind of give you an idea, a um, little educational um, glance into how you can use tapping to help release negative emotions, uh, physical discomfort, limiting beliefs. And today, since next Tuesday is, or excuse me, next Monday is Valentine's Day, I'm kind of focusing on, you know, being your own best friend, being your own advocate, being your own cheerleader um, to tie into the theme of, you know, self-care and self-love. Because, you know, no matter what's going on in the world, who's around us, whatever our environment is, we can always foster and cultivate more self-love. And that's, you know, really where it's at because then our emotional well-being doesn't depend on what other people do or you know, um, it depends on us and the messages, the positive messages that we're giving ourselves. So I just want you to um, go, we're going to go ahead and start tapping. And if you choose to follow along, just know that you're, by tapping along, you're taking uh, responsibility for your own well-being. I always like to say that. <laughs> and this isn't meant to be, you know, any kind of individual therapy for anyone. Um, this is just a general demonstration to give you an idea. But I am an EFT tapping practitioner, so I do work one-on-one -on -one with people as well. And please feel free to reach out to me if you'd like to have a private session. Um, so just think about in your life, um, you know, that how high that negative self-talk is that we tell ourselves that, you know, that's something you would say like to your best friend and they probably wouldn't be friends with you anymore. So the whole idea is that we want to replace those negative, that negative self-talk with more positive self-talk, with being our own cheerleader, with being our own advocate, with being our own, um, you know, our own coach basically. Um, so think on that scale of one to 10, how high that negative self-talk is before we start tapping. And then we'll take a reassessment level and see where you're at afterwards. And hopefully your numbers have come down. So on that scale of one to 10, 10, 10 being the highest, Sorry, these, these little pop-ups that keep popping up and they're really annoying. Um, so 10 being the highest, one meaning nope, nope, no negative self-talk, no negative self-talk at all. Okay, so we're gonna start with the karate chop point. Even though in the past I've had some negative self-talk and been really discouraging to myself and telling myself these negative things that just aren't true because I say that they're not. And either way, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Two more times, even though I tend to sometimes have this negative self-talk and I want to change that. I really want to be my own cheerleader. I want to be my own best friend and give myself these positive messages because the alternative just isn't helping me and it just makes things worse. I deeply and completely honor and accept myself. Even though I sometimes have these, this negative self-talk, um, but I'm willing to learn a new way. I'm willing to squash that negative voice and replace it with a more positive voice. And either way, I accept how I feel and I deeply and completely honor and accept myself. Inside the eyebrow, any negative self-talk. Side of the eye that I felt in the past or that sometimes comes up. Under the eye, I want to release this negative self-talk. Under the nose, and I want to replace that negative self-talk with being my own cheerleader. Chin point, because I can choose to be my own best friend. Collarbone, I can choose to give myself positive messages of love and acceptance. 
under the arm. So any negative self-talk can go take a hike under the chest because I know it doesn't serve me to hold on to this negative self-talk. Wrist points, so I choose instead to give myself positive messages. Top of the head, I choose to believe that I can do it. Inside the eyebrow, I choose to pat myself on the back when something goes right. Side of the eye, or when I change a negative thought to a positive thought. Under the eye, I can choose to be my own cheerleader. Under the nose, I can choose to speak up for myself and set good, healthy, strong boundaries. Chin point, I can tell myself that I can do it. Collarbone, and I give myself these positive messages of encouragement and positivity. Under the arm, it's not selfish to take time for self-care. Under the chest, and I choose to be my own cheerleader. Wrist points, I choose to encourage myself. Top of the head, I choose to take time for my self-care. Inside the eyebrow, I choose to surround myself with positive people. Side of the eye who help me grow and learn and expand. Under the eye, and I repel negative people. Under the nose, I give myself so many positive messages that it seems to just be telling myself positive things all the time. Chin point, and I keep up with those positive messages. Collarbone, I encourage myself. Under the arm, I support myself. Under the chest, I choose to be my own best friend. Wrist points, and I choose to share that joy and positivity with others. Top of my, the head, I tell myself I can do it. Inside the eyebrow, I am my own best friend. Side of the eye, and I'm my best cheerleader ever. Under the nose, or excuse me, under the eye. <laughs> so any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts under the nose that no longer serve me. Chin point, I choose to let them go. Collarbone, I choose to tack them out under the arm, or I choose to breathe them out. Under the chest, I tell myself I can do it. I tell myself I'm helpful and kind. Top of the head, and that I'm my own best friend. And I encourage myself each and every day. Side of the eye to eat well and exercise under the eye and get good amount of sleep. Under the nose, I tell myself I can do it. Chin point because I can. Collarbone, I can do it. Under the arm, I am capable. Under the chest and I'm, it's possible to grow and change and evolve. Wrist points, I choose to be positive. Top of the head, and I choose to give myself loving thoughts each and every day. Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath. So just note now where you are on that scale from one to 10, 10 being the highest, and hopefully your, um, you know, the negative self-talk number has come down. If not, there might be a little bit of resistance to letting it go, even though logically, of course, that doesn't make sense. You know, sometimes that subconscious stuff um, can be resisting and, uh, and block us sometimes. So keep tapping. If you have any questions, please feel, to reach out, uh, feel free to reach out to me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And stay tuned next Tuesday for another Tapping Tuesday video. Have a great day. Okay, bye.